Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. This one's not my eye, so I can hold the camera a little steadier. There you go. Um, this one says 53. When I first walked up, it said 55, so it just shows you how, how much heat the, puts, the sun puts in here. My battery's all charged there, keeping my Energizer Marine battery all good. In the shade, it's one degrees Celsius. That's about the right time, so 2, 2, 2 15, something like that. And this one says 34. So, it's still New Year's Eve. Wow, three videos one day. Aren't we lucky? Um, it appears as if my suspicion on that Honda ATC 200 engine is correct. Um, sorry, there's a little breeze. It appears as if the intake valve is a little bit tight. And I just um, took the caps off quick, right? This is the exhaust valve here. And when I shake it, listen. Right, so I got some play there. And there should be a little bit of play when the valve isn't depressed, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the string now so that the exhaust valve is opened, right? You guys could kind of see that it opened and that no point should the exhaust and the intake valve both be opened because that's not kosher. And when I go to shake it, right, I got nothing. It's too tight so right I got no weeble wobble clicky clicky so I've run it through you can see at that point it's depressing and back up and once again at no point does the pressure come off of that so it appears as if I do have a valve that's too tight um, and once again I was suspicious of that right I was watching it I could see that it was belching out the uh, the intake a little bit so um, I guess this can be considered a troubleshooting series for a Honda 200 S motor and it, it works for the 185 or quite honestly any overhead valve uh, motor um, you, j you just kind of got to start at the beginning and grind your your way forward right you you put a recoil on it or you kick start it and you see what it feels like if it feels a little a little light in the pants like that one did um, though even if it didn't feel light in the pants I was uh, I was going to put a compression checker on it just to get an idea what kind of shape it was in. Anyway, so I put the compression checker on it, and it sure enough told me that uh, that it, it was a little a little light there. Uh, came in at 75. Put oil down the cylinder. Pulled the string. Continued to come in at 75. Right. That kind of tells you that it's not blown by the rings. Kind of aims you at the valves, or. Um, compression release or something up on top so with that check the valve clearance and you can hear one's loose enough where you can kind of shake it and you hear things clicking around that means there's enough play where the valve chain unloads when the valve closes right you should not have zero valve clearance because when things heat up that means your valve will stay opened a little bit you'll lose power you'll burn your valve you'll burn your valve seat so there should always be a little bit of play I have a tendency to run my valves loose um, and that's because obviously I'm not racing these things I have a tendency to keep them loose I just assume the valve stay closed for that extra split second transfer its heat to the valve seat um, close and seal well and not burn up a valve right that's just me some people are like oh you're crazy they should be as tight as you can even crowd the spec a little bit you get more power that way you're right you get more power that way homie's a little a little more conservative right i just assume not blow these bikes up 
Um, I've said it in a lot of um, times on these videos. I happen to love the 200S motor. To me, it's got all kinds of great things all in one. It's not so heavy that I can't pick it up, move it around, carry it. It's relatively compact. I have a million spare parts for it. Some of the Chinese spare parts fit it, like the China Square um, CDI unit um, is a plug-and-play, and you can pick those up for like 10 bucks. So um, the Chinese wire harness, the one they use, like for this guy, with very little um, changing, you can make one of those Chinese wire harnesses work. On, um, on on one of the uh, Honda bikes, real piece of cake. Um, and that means you can have all the switches, all the China switches and all. And the, the wire harness for these things is like 10 bucks. So if you go 10 bucks on a CDI and 10 bucks on a wire harness, I mean, what, do you, what else you got? On off switch? I mean, you got nothing there. So I, I like that... Um, the folks from China copied the folks from uh, from Japan. It makes keeping these things running a little easier. I think, I'm not positive because I haven't messed with the clutch, but uh, William Shatton had to move some clutch discs around. And I have, um, I have the uh, feeling that even some of the internal stuff, like clutch discs, They've copied those, uh, our friends over in China, from our friends over in Japan. So it makes just makes life so much easier when you could get the spare parts. The other thing about the 200S for my area, they must have sold a million of those things because here it is 30 years later, right? Um, we're looking at 1985, 86. So uh, 96, 06, 16. Here it is almost 30 years later, and I could still find the bikes more or less intact. So they must have sold a million of them back in the day. Um, given the fact that they've lasted this long, they're also a very um, a, a, a bike that could take the abuse. So, all right. Um, I th I'm not sure when I'm going to get that valve loosened up so that I could give it a test. i got to get inside and get ready. Going to a party tonight, so, um, you know, I don't want to show up at the party completely starved and eat all the food that everybody else is supposed to get a little bit of, right? So um, I'm going to get inside and uh, um, get something to eat, cool my jets a little bit, clean up, shave, right? Maybe shave. How's that for, for something worthwhile? You know, grab a shower once again so I don't show up uh, at the party looking like a stinky grizzly Adams. Folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Um, for my <laughs> friends with ADD, thanks for making it to the end of the video. Hopefully you didn't have to stop twice. Um, Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and enjoy all your days. You're probably watching this... Um, when is this probably going to be... I don't know, maybe... What's today? Wednesday? Thursday, Friday. Probably Friday you guys are seeing this. So, happy Friday. Um, take care, folks. Hopefully all is good with you, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Bye now.